There was always a moment where you came back off stage and you were sitting there just kind of like, what, happened? What, what did I just do? What did I just do? And I remember Matt was kind of doing that and I was like, Matt, awesome routine. What's wrong? And he's like, she licked my balls. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, that is normal. This is complete fiction. Uh, you know, this is just the world in which I kind of lived in and experienced. Uh, and then we just kind of fictionalized a lot of things. A lot of the stuff that really happened in this world, you would have never even believed it if we'd put in the movie. Okay, like what, one thing that I can actually say on TV, um, eight strippers riding in the back of a, of a U-Haul van um, on the way up to a stripper convention. What goes on at a stripper convention? It's about 3,000 women and about 50 to 50 to 60 strippers. And wow. from, from, nope. nine, from 9 to about 3.30 in the morning, uh, you, you're just, you, it's a marathon. And you, just, you, just, you just go. You just Winner go. makes the most money. Try to hit all 3,000 of them. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's just, you just go, dog. <laughs> you, have, you have moments where you're like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm raw everywhere. <laughs> and then you just keep going because the money's there. It's really depressing, actually. How much did you make? Uh, my first time that I went, I made, uh, I think I made around 2,000. Wow, great job. Okay. That's a lot of ones. <laughs> there were some fives in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. No 20s? Uh, you don't want to know what I have to do for 20s. You know what? I don't. You know what? Let's yeah. drink these, and I'll show you what you, I do no, for that's, 20s. That's no, that's OK. When they called action, you know, they just pretty much released the hounds, and we had these amazing extras who were very thankfully into it. And that's the world we were trying to. What happened? Yeah, I was doing uh, the Dr. Love routine, and Channing had had given me a great piece of advice in between takes <laughs> to just sort of really just grind my junk in this girl's face. And, um, <laughs> and she just she went for it. She started licking me and all the special places. <laughs> oh, hey, man, it was... <laughs> By the way, I'm standing right there, me and Adam have yeah. to, like, spin him around. There's and I just see, I just see this shot of it. I... Um, it's, uh, like, a freeze frame or something that I, somebody sent me, and you can see <laughs> Alex's face. He's horribly uncomfortable. Because woman's... I'm right in his face, grinding this woman's face. She's licking me, and he's like... <laughs> but I just see this woman. Stretcher. I see this woman, and he's got his thong, and this woman's like... You know, she's obviously very uncomfortable in the first take, and then the second take, she's kind of like relaxed, and then you kind of slowly see her go like this. It was very reptilian. It's so weird. <laughs> to me, that pales in comparison to McConaughey's final number. Pretty much. I didn't all... get my balls licked in my number. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I did the uh, in, in the performance, and at the end, I'm at the end of the, the the runway or whatever, and I felt this little pop on the side of the, the G-string, and it and it got it started getting a little cooler. And so, <laughs> they're moving to the center, and it was just a couple of seconds in there. I don't know if I was thinking about it or made the choice or whatever, but my left hand decided to come over. I grabbed my package and stood up and, 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 and rolled out of there and tried to come up on one leg and tried to keep a beat and had to go mm. out one, one hand. Didn't miss a step. A, <laughs> it was literally a tsunami of women, like, trying to get at him, and he just somehow pulls a front roll, like a military roll out I was out greased of the down, though, so I was slippery. <laughs> you were sli sli slippery that day? Yeah. 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 Can you touch him? Can you touch it? No, 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 no. Well, that too, the law says that you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. Here. And I don't see a cop in sight. His character actually was two characters at one point. Uh, there was like the owner of the group and then there was an MC. There were two different people. And then uh, Soderbergh got the idea of, of condensing the two into one and there was really only one other person that could play it. And I mean, that's, and that was McConaughey. He was the first call that we made. He was so much fun to get into, man. I know who the guy was, but also knew how many different colors the guy could be. Um, <laughs> the first day when we showed up, he was in a yellow spandex halter top with with biker yeah. shorts and whatever that <laughs> beanie thing was on your head. I was like, South Whoa. Florida in there, baby. Okay, <laughs> we better bring it, y'all. You're not just stripping. Uh, you are fulfilling every woman's wildest fantasies. Right? You are the husband that they never had. 
You are that dreamboat guy that never came along. Thank God I wasn't in that scene, like, talking, because I would not have been able to keep it together. Dude, I don't yeah. know how you did it. I I'm really turned around and for half of that scene. If you look in the background, I'm like, this <laughs> over here. We all were, because I was just like, laugh. I'm going to do some push-ups oh, over here yeah. somewhere. You are the one-night stand, that free fling of a that they get to have tonight with you on stage and still go home to their hubby and not get in trouble because you, baby, you made it legal. You are the liberation. Yeah, I'm still in therapy, being thrusted by, <laughs> by McConaughey. No, we just said, you know, he would never wear like baggy, it's not the baggy shorts. This is about the body and everything that needs to be form fitting. And then the half yellow shirt came out and that was like a no brainer. And so <laughs> the, we start laughing at that. And then we got the shorts and we said, well, not necessarily a straight Speedo, but let's the next step, the straight across. And then I've got like some ballet shoes on and with that little dirty South Florida lid on. That's my favorite reveal in the movie, other than maybe Big Dick Richie's. I, 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 I think when Steven pulls back and you back up and you just start bouncing around on the ballet slippers, like that's my favorite. It's my favorite reveal in the whole movie. Just making that money, man. Just right. making that money. Make that money. Make that money. Count the ones. So how do you know my brother? I'm an entrepreneur. I uh, manage a few businesses. I'm trying to hit on my sister. Okay, uh, good talk. I thought they had the wrong number. Maybe they're looking for the guy from Vampire Diaries or something. <laughs> But I, <laughs> no, I mean it was uh, it was so flattering and terrifying at the same time. Channing is somebody I want to work with for a long time. All these guys are just fantastic actors. They put a great group together. We welcome to stage the one, the only Magic Mike. I was hoping this was all a joke. Uh, it's pretty funny. We've yeah. known each other for 16, 16 years. years. We studied Shakespeare and Chekhov and yeah. Ibsen. And ancient Brecht. Greek together, Brex. So we figured the next Shaw. logical step, <laughs> yes, body roll. And I think we even had the conversation 16 years ago. Where we did. We said to each other, Matt, 16 years from now, God willing, let's use all this training on a male mm -hmm. stripper movie directed by Steven Soderbergh, and here we are. So I really feel like we manifested this. Make me chase, chase for the love you make me. Now let's suck a sucker burn. My mom and dad didn't actually know that I that I did it, uh, f uh, the whole, when I did it for real. Um, and so I think my mom might have found out towards the end. My dad found out when the, when the video came out. So uh, they, they, I think they were not gonna come to the premiere and now they are gonna come to the premiere. I think they, they went to some therapy, they're working through it. <laughs> I was telling these guys earlier, I was at my sister's uh, wedding reception about a month after we shot, maybe a couple weeks after we shot, and I had a few drinks, and all of a sudden, I was getting into the body roll and the hip grinds and on the dance floor, and I just saw several disapproving looks from my aunts and uncles, and I thought, okay, it's time to let go of Magic Mike now. <laughs> Come back to reality. Let it go. Just do some step touch, Matt. Take it back to some step touch. <laughs> so, and Joe hasn't let it go yet. No. And has no, no plans to. Nor will I. Uh... Wait, let's throw in the story, though, also of. Uh, um... Was it when you were Goldman? Oh yeah, you came up with a good, a good backstory for, for Goldman. <laughs> I'm painting head to toe in gold. You know, it evolved because I basically said, look, there's, there's one thing I don't want to do, which is don't put me in a gladiator outfit. I, I met with a couple directors about like gladiator style projects. I just don't want to offend anyone. Please don't put me in the gladiator. <laughs> so I get to my costume fitting, like we got this great gladiator outfit. I'm like, no, 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 no. I told, I, that's the one thing I said. I get the choreography. They're like, we got this great gladiator. Everything. No, I'm not the gladiator. So the compromise was, you know, I was going to be the staff that comes to life and does this whole pose down to the thinker and the discus and all these famous statues. And there's a piece of classical music that I was doing it to, but then a buddy of mine is a drum and bass DJ and he gave me this great dubstep oh, it's such song, a great song where I come out of this class, beautiful classical piece and you hear this voice go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get fucking grimy. And then I jump <laughs> off of the table and just start Breaking tables. Mauling, just mauling yeah. the yeah. field like as, <laughs> like as many as I could. And, you know, I mean, we really hadn't gotten to that point in choreography. But Steven let, let the music go. Just so let I'm it ride. Out there. I didn't get painted head to toe in gold, gold for nothing. So I just went off. <laughs> that was a good way leg. to put it. Like you went off. Dude. It was like a five minute yeah. deep character improv. And, Matt, and McConaughey runs back and he goes, dude, I got the backstory. You were from what, 1300 BC? Yeah. And you've been putting this. <laughs> You've been in this locked away in this cave, in the, in, in the center of some, some of, of Neptune somewhere. Yes. Now today, they 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 brought you 
back and the, and the, and the, the egg is opened and, and, and you were unleashed. <laughs> to like an island of women? To I an island, yeah, to an island yes. of women and then you just pillaged. Uh, <laughs> And it was like, a, it was kind of glad he had it. Was like, this, this happened. I'm so excited about hearing the stories now. Yeah, and I was like, that's it. That's exactly what I was playing. You totally get me, McConaughey. What you need from me? What's my side? You just got to keep doing what you do. Yeah? You love your heads out, your focus, like a big brother to this team. You keep that up, you're going to make a lot more than this door money. I guarantee you that. Both ways this time, though, right? Two way street, man. I want you to hear the said word, equity. E Say it. You. Say it. My mom is gonna love this. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's gonna be one of those ones that's having a very interactive experience with the screen. <laughs> she's gonna be screaming, hollering, hooting, yelling. Yeah, she's she's shameless. <laughs> I can't control what my mother's going to do. If she sees it, she's going to see it. I mean, I would think that I'm going to know when she sees it, because when I see her, she's not going to be able to look at me. Um, <laughs> my brother, my brother works in an office, and uh, they call, they refer to him as Big Dick Nick now, so. Nice. <laughs> my father, on the other hand, may have had trouble with the subject material initially, but I think once he heard my character's name, like any good father, he's very proud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. That's my that's my boy, you know. I respect and thank these guys so much for putting themselves out there like that. I uh, had the, uh, I don't know if it's the fortunate pleasure or the unfortunate pleasure to having had this experience in my life. I sort of was used to it and I was terrified to do it. I was completely nervous to go out on stage again and I was like why did I want to make this movie again like it, this, this was such a bad idea but these guys had to do it for the first time ever and they all jumped in so completely committing and I, I, I just I'm in awe by their uh, all their commitment truly <laughs>